Good morning, guys. Uh, it is SNA Driving Screen Start again today. Uh, you're speaking, or you're going to talk about um, the straight reverse. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on our channel and share the videos with other people. Okay, this is our board. Uh, forgive me, I'm going to do something now. Like I said, we're going to talk about the straight reverse. Let me just draw this thing for you uh, so that you understand something. Okay. Um, right okay so this is how it is and then this is how it is right okay this is how it is guys um this is the straight reverse. Okay. So what happened now? Uh, the truck will be standing here. The truck will be standing here. Let's say pass a little bit line. And uh, this is how it is going to be like. Okay. This is your truck. This is your... Uh, okay. Uh, this is your truck. This is the wheels here. This is the wheels. And this is one is the wheels. This is the wheels as well. Okay. So you sitting inside. So the first thing to do before you you do your 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 reverse, your straight reverse, you need to understand one thing that uh, these examiners they don't care uh, how you know to reverse. They are caring more, particularly how you change your gears, how you do your observation. So before you 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 do your straight reverse, uh, some somehow. The examiner is gonna just tell you that you are going to do a uh, straight reverse. So these uh, lines here, this uh, solid line that I put here, uh, is the same as the one in uh, traffic department. So you need to pass this line in order for you to do your nice straight reverse. Okay. So this is what is happening. Remember, I mentioned that the truck is here. This truck is not allowed to touch either this line the left line or it's gonna be on your right side it doesn't matter but you're not supposed to touch this line your truck is not allowed also to touch the one also on the right side why because it is straight reverse you don't need to touch them so if you do touch them it means the test failed even if you were very good in doing your early docking once you touch these two lines the test is what is finished okay and um <coughs> And um, after that, um, you're also making sure that um, as you are coming in to park your truck, as you are coming in, some and somehow you might be coming from this side, the angle, you can come like this and put your truck straight and go straight in the middle. Why do you need to put your truck in the middle? Because if your truck is not centered on a center position, it's going to be also difficult Given an example, your truck is, is, is on this side, right? Already, while your truck is like this, you're already starting to turn your, your truck, of which this is not what we, mean, we, we need. Like this is what I'm saying, that if your truck is, is more close to the left side or the right side, it's going to give you uh, problems in terms of coming uh, to send it again, if you're not really a good driver in, in terms of doing that. So my, my, my thing to you is this, it's better for you from this side as you are coming from this side or the other traffic department, you come on the other side, it's like this. We also need you to position your truck well, well, well on the center. Why? Because you don't need um, to, to have difficulties in terms of controlling your truck. So this is uh, your truck supposed to be standing. Uh, you pass, your head must pass a little bit of the line why because the examiners they've got this thing that they do to the clients um when it comes to straight reverse they will tell them go more front go more front of which that can also cause problem because also you 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 you're not close to the line so avoid also um uh, avoid also um let me show you this avoid also um avoid to stop like this 
you see this is your vehicle and you stop here's the wheels here's the wheels here's the wheels here's the wheels and you stop like this this gap that is here this gap that is here if the examiner notice that there's a gap he can say okay a brother or sister can you put your truck more front but the time you do that some of the grounds they are not really straight so it can also cause what a rolling backwards so you need also to avoid that so on my teachings i always say to the people they must put it, their head outside in in order for them to see this line here this barrel line you need to put your truck just to pass um just to pass like this uh this is how it's supposed to be just a little bit to pass that barrel line this is your truck right and then this is wheels this is wheels this is front wheels this is front wheels. just a little bit like this to avoid the examiner to say go more front already is not going to have that opportunity to tell you that go more front because sometimes when you are do doing the test we are very nervous and we are very scared of the person instead of being scared of the exam but i found it out that people they are scared of the examiners you find the the big examiners with a scary face and they are coming to teach you that and tell you that too straight of this and by the moment you hear that hoarse voice you also get distraction right okay i'm sure you understand what i was talking about as you are coming from the right going to turn to the straight of this be careful you must turn in the middle and position your truck very well just in case that you make a mistake your truck must keep on what reversing backwards okay i'm sure this one is very clear of how you are going to position you also your what yo 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 your vehicle as you are coming either from the right or from the from the left side okay this is now another story right we are going now to do that straight reverse simple and straightforward okay from there you are just going to select your reverse gear balance some they prefer doing full observation first and then they select the gear and do again the full observation before they go right and then after you just drop the handbrake you are going to do blind spot at the back at the left side and then you start moving remember you don't leave clutch one time you start leaving clutch bit by bit until you are so satisfied that the car is what is reversing and then you leave brakes no clutch no brakes no handbrake nothing must be controlling the car except your hands hands are going to be on the on the on the steering only the hands are going to be on the steering right as you are reversing uh backwards some of the truck you use the tank somewhere here the tank is going to be here to see if this tank is going to be under the or the line must be under the tank that is how it is supposed to be the tank is going to be here right remember and as you are reversing um you are also using the mirrors to check both sides for me i always say it's better to guard these corners these corners they are going to direct you you be you looking at the mirror but these corners are going to direct you if your truck is going towards uh, this line or is your truck going towards this line so that's that's it so as you are reversing you are reversing you are reversing your back wheels must pass this uh, solid line this solid line like i write it the back wheels must pass the solid line after passing the solid line and then you just do both clash end and brakes so you can say brakes and clash at the same time also it can work so this is how your truck supposed to to be standing right this is how your truck supposed to be standing okay i just make it big so that you guys can see it. right this is how your truck supposed to be trained these are the front wheels these are the front wheels these are the back wheels these are the back wheels okay so what happened is this as soon as after the back wheels pass the line just stop in the middle of the box we are not allowing you to stop with the front wheels on top of the line it's a fair so make sure that do not stop uh, before like this is the right thing that we need people to do it as they do their what they are straight to face guys listen to this very carefully do not stop before this uh, barrel line or this solid line don't stop before other people they do this they stop here right they stop here they stop here this is their wheels and they say they done the straight reverse if you do like this 
it's an automatically fail. The examiner is not going to negotiate or saying anything to you. They're just straight going to, to fail you. So make sure that these brake wheels, they pass this barrel line. This barrel line, you must pass it with the brake wheels. Then stop. Are you understanding this? Then stop. Do not stop before, before the line. Okay, I'm sure this one is clear. So this is the final of the of the straight reverse. Our truck is supposed to stop in this manner. This is our truck supposed to stop, right? These are the back wheels. These are the back wheels. The front wheels is here. The front wheels is here. Right. This is how it's supposed to stop. This is the final. Okay. The other thing that people does, um, they keep pressing the clutch as they are coming from this uh, uh, boundary where we started. They keep clutch also that the examiner, they can notice that if this truck is moving according to its normal speed or it's moving but someone is pressing the clutch. So bear this, guys, in your mind. For you to pass your straight reverse, you need to, to understand that you need to make sure that you don't touch the lines, these lines on the sides. You need to understand as well, you are not allowed to pass this, uh, this line. Okay, let me do this. You are not allowed to pass this, this line. Let me write something for you here. Your truck is not allowed to be here. This, this, is, the, the, this is the trailer like this, right? Like this. And this is your wheels. And this is your front wheels, right? This is your front wheels. If you do straight like straight reverse like this, automatically you have failed because your back of the trailer is not allowed to, to pass the line. But with this, guys, I hope to see you soon on other videos. I'm going to explain more. If you don't really understand what is exactly happening, feel free to ask the questions and then we are going to, 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 to explain to you how it is uh, uh, going to happen. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you on another video. Don't forget to subscribe and share the videos with others. Thank you so much, guys. Keep on watching. If you've got questions, don't hesitate to come to us. We explain exactly uh, the same way we do. Avoid rolling on the straight face. Cheers, guys. Thank you.